Hey, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls? It's the one, the only, of course, Mr. Chris is in Guy 2009, aka Nintendo Sony Free 2011, of course. Nintendo Mega Man Guy 360, and back again with another video. Sorry, I had to cut this one a little short. I might have to do a two part video on it. I was going to do this earlier, then I fucking bit my tongue because of the fucking goddamn um, gum I was eating. I don't know what happened there. I think still bleeding a little bit, so that kind of fucking sucks ass a little bit, so. I'm going to try to talk a little bit more slower now because I'm still fucking sore as hell when I bit my fucking goddamn tongue. That's what I hate about gum is I bite my gum sometimes it fucking hurts like a bitch. And I hate that fucking shit. So yeah, um, anyways, without further ado, let's begin. This is another Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods promo clip. So um, let's see if we can get out of this thing, alright? Um, hopefully you enjoy this. I changed the background like I said in my last video. The other one was only like two or three minutes, so... Watch the video if you want. I'm not going to force you to if you want. It's all good. And unrelated news actually opened up on my Nintendo Free 2011 channel. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 channel. I got this Lyron right here. Reverse from fucking Crystal Guardians. This shit is awesome as hell. And Matang. That is cool as fuck. So check that video out if you want. I still got to do one more video where I got all the reverses for the past two weeks. I still haven't uploaded it yet. I did it like four weeks ago. Before and after I went to the Philippines. So yeah. There's that shit, so without further ado, let's fucking begin this bitch, shall we? This is from like IGN and shit, too. Legend is born, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and then what I know, black dude, um, Tyro Magnus, he did like a, what's it called, a reaction review on this, too. It's Majin Buu. That was Vegeta. Christopher Savage. <laughs> oh man, I used to remember that shit as a 90s cut. I loved the fucking hell out of this thing. I'm telling you. I'm definitely watching this shit in the, um, on the movie theater. Android 18. Tia. Piccolo. Damn, holy shit. I have a little like Captain Ginyu. Gohan, Super Saiyan. Oh this is yeah. What when don't share their <laughs> oh, ho. Holy shit. You kick them square in the fucking not balls, but like in the stomach area. That hurts. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Oh yeah. I like to always like Tamori Goku, even though he wasn't as strong and powerful as him. He's the fucking same prince. That's what fucking made him such a boss back in the day. As a 90s kid, I loved the fucking hell out of his ass. What do you call it? I must have the recipe. Uh, oh, it's just a sushi plate. Oh. <laughs> it was Vegeta. Bills just kicked the crap out of him, too. Oh, this was the English one I was talking about before. The other one was Japanese, so... I'm sorry I like, um, led you the wrong way to the other video I did. Prince Vegeta is highly skilled, but he lacks the power to match Yo, Catman, let's do this! An uninvited birthday guest with manners so bad he starts a fight over a putty cup deserves to get Gotenks fist crammed down his throat! Ah, <laughs> you Earthlings have no idea how lucky you are to know the delight of putty. Ah, he's an Earthling, he's a Super Saiyan, man. He's fucking alien, he can kick the shit out of him once, but he can't, but... It's Goku, he's not there. Probably did some secret training with King Kai or something like that. Kira Toyama, dude, I gotta give him credit, man. He's the one that made the most legendary animes of all fucking time. I love the hell out of his show. Oh, shit. 
doesn't even use his hands to fly. He just like puts him behind his back like this. That is fucking God's power right there. The that Epicness to beyond belief. Indeed, that's a fine way to rationalize your death. You shall die with your honor intact. He's supposed to be like an Egyptian guy. Oh, right. That's enough going around. Oh, I remember, I remember this part. Volma. Trillin', you know, shit. <laughs> uh-uh. Slapped him across the Uh, he almost killed him. You slapped a fucking god across the fucking She was always been That's rich. my power! Woo! Holy fucking shit. You know, like, Super Saiyan Times fucking tell He's like a mega Super Saiyan or some shit. Bam! Oh, shit, but you're just not taking this crap. He doesn't care if he's an Egyptian god. Bills, or Bills, Bills. I don't know, I guess they're constant. This is incredible! Vegeta's anger over Bulla getting hits made him even stronger than Goku! Ooh! Shit. This mask will work. Oh! Fucking hell. Did a big ass giant energy glass. I remember those high glasses. He's like, I'm going to send you another dimension. Boom! What the heck was that, that was fucking cool. Capsule Corporation's probably testing some new explosives again without a permit. <laughs> without a permit. Is that the one that um, Bulma and her dad own the capsule for? I remember that. All my Dragon Ball Z fans know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, they had the Capsule Corp in um, the original Dragon Ball 2. That was in the 88, 89, I think. Same age as me, it's like 25 or something like that. No, I won't let you do it! Why must you always destroy? Don't stall. I've already made up my mind, Vegeta. Oh, boy. He's nervous. Dang, you just kicked the shit out of him by using one finger. Boom! Vegeta, no! <laughs> oh, my God. Please, oh, come on! He's gone. Yes, Lord Mirrors, is there something you wanted? I must admit, you were right about the Saiyan God prophecy. This whole endeavor's been nothing more than the two of us chasing an echo of a myth. But I shall destroy this planet before I return home! As you wish, Lord. <laughs> he almost looks like Corvus from the Pokemon Generation 5 and Unova, his, like, servant. He has that same style of hair. He's like that Gumby thing going on. But unfortunately, I don't have enough time to try everything on your own. Not one minute left. I'll put the link down below if you do want to watch it. Wow, he's using a fucking energy blast without even using his hands. That's how he's a super powerful Egyptian guy. It's like some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. You know, I've never really been a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I did like the anime for it. The cards I never cared for. Oh shit, Super Saiyan Goku. I oh, know he's just Goku. Yes, Man of the Hour. This actually is actually my set second favorite character, not my first. Yes! I used to have all the action figures and all like the manga for it back in the day. It's too bad I had to sell it when I was about 14. You finally figured out the same god problem. Oh boy, it's like Brawly. But I do know I can't let you blow up the earth. Destruction is in my very name! Believe me, I'm aware of that, Lord Beerus. Oh, that's it. That was it. Oh, and he put like some little collar in there really too. But she's 18, no. So that's when she wasn't a human. Woo! Oh, man. Fucking awesome, man. 9-9,000. Oh, man. Where do I even begin? This shit was fucking beautiful. It was phenomenal as fuck. I didn't scream or yell as much because, you know, my tongue was still sore after I bit it before I did this video. But still, that was awesome as hell. I loved the crap out of it. It was amazing. Epicness. Nostalgic factor for the fucking win. <coughs> that shit was really fucking cool. I loved every single moment of it when they did the energy blast, when they transformed into Super Saiyans. That was cool spot. Android 18 got to fight in a little bit, or AK 18 now, because she's human. After the whole Cell Saga was finished and Majin Buu started, she got a lot of bit more airtime, which was cool as fuck. I used to have a huge ass crush on that blonde bitch back in the day. She's still hot as fuck, which is awesome. 
But yeah, other than that, oh my god, um, shit is fucking amazing. And they show Krillin, he has more hair now, he's not bald as fuck anymore, so that's different. And he has his daughter Pan or something like that, or Pan Chan, I don't know, whatever her name was. Marin, I think that's what her name was. And then they show Piccolo, he just gets his ass handed to him quick. Everybody except for three Dragon Ball Z characters, Gotenks, which is Trunks and Goten, Vegeta, and then Goku, they put up the best fights ever. That was awesome as hell. Nostalgia, because it's, it's over flooding my memories with veins. Like, it's just, ugh. It's just giving me a nerdgasm right now. That's what it's doing to me right now. It's just so many happy memories I had with this thing. Hopefully one day they put it back on Tsunami or some shit like that. They'll probably have it on Netflix or Hulu or, I don't know, something. Netflix, it, it, Hulu Plus, I don't know, whatever the fuck has it on the internet nowadays anime like websites like um, Crunchyroll they'll probably put new Dragon Ball Z episodes on there stuff because you know a lot of kids nowadays and teenagers they watch the internet nowadays a lot more they barely watch the TV as much as they used to like they did in my generation that was different but yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about it nothing but good positive things about it can't wait to show them do energy blasts and super saiyan transformations hopefully Goku he pieces um instant transmission thing in the spirit bomb besides him doing the KO can and the Kamehameha wave like Kamehameha, you know, that shit. That was my jam. Oh my god, that was my crack cocaine of anime manga back in the days. GT was good too, but I wasn't crazy about it as much. It was decent. A lot of people give it shit because it was crap, because they didn't follow the main story, but you know what? It was fairly decent. The only one that was shit was Dragon Ball Z Kai. They took out all the blood and the gore, which sucked ass. That's what makes the whole anime so fucking cool. And the story factor is just a fucking mind blow. Especially for the nerds out there like me that were into Dragon Ball Z fans and still are dedicated DBZ fans to this day. You guys are awesome as hell. But that's all I have to say for now. So I always do say, um, it's what it is, ain't what it ain't. See when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink, smoke, weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. See you soon. See you around. Peace out. Later. Bye. We'll talk to you guys next time. Take it easy. Stay safe. Be calm. Be cool. Keep, keep it chill. Keep it collective. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm out of here. Take care. I'm out. And uh, yeah, goodbye. See you soon. Peace.